What are supplementary and complementary angles? And how do you remember things better? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, kanina, pag-usapan natin yung complementary at supplementary angles. I have an older video on this topic, pero hindi ko kasi masyadong nahimay yung details and hindi ko rin kayo nabigyan ng mas challenging na quiz about this topic. Yung kind na kahawig ng mga lumalabas sa actual ng mga exams for college entrance tests at saka civil service. So, I really wanted to do a revamp of this series. Now, uh, yun yung gagawin natin sa video na ito. But before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one of the, of the ways that you can do that is to be a channel member. Now, your channel membership uh, offers a few perks for you, including badges, emojis, and uh, an exclusive access to other uh, benefits to, sa pagiging sponsor, basically, ng Team Laika. And for those of you na naging channel member na, maraming salamat sa inyo. Sa mga hindi pa, you can click on the i button right here to find out how you can be a channel member and help us help more people through the work we do here in this channel and even outside sa mga live na mga projects natin. Okay? And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can explain this lesson better. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we'll start yung ating discussion sa angle pairs with yung complementary and supplementary angles. And then I'll give you a challenge quiz uh, sa end ng video na ito. We're going to look for yung mga missing angles. And uh, this type of problem is something that you'd encounter sa mga mal maraming mga exams. Lagi siyang lumalabas sa mga college entrance exams, kahit sa civil service, they're known na magkaroon din naman ganito klaseng tanong. And it's very important for you to understand yung basic na concept nito. Kasi sayang eh, bonus na sana yung question minsan nakakalimutan natin kung paano sagutin. Okay? Now let's start with yung list muna ng iba-ibang angle, angle pairs. May mga angle pairs na ang relationship nila is based on the measurement ng angle. Two of those we're going to talk about today. Yung complementary angles at saka supplementary angles. Yung iba, it's about yung kanilang position and yun din kanilang measurement. Ibig sabihin, um, mas complicated ng konti, pero we'll talk about that in the next video. Okay? So, don't worry muna about the rest. Dito muna tayo sa una. Bakit? Kasi itong mga ito rin ay part ng dahilan kung bakit yung mga ibang mga angle pairs na congruent or pareho ng number ng degrees or measurement ay nag exist Okay? Let's start with yung pinaka-basic, yung complementary angles. Now, if A and B are complementary angles and A is 25 degrees, what is the measurement of B? Again, this is the type of question that you can expect in exams or means na may illustration. So, nakalagay, yan yung A, ito yung B. Okay, now, in the last video, we talked about yung angles. And if you haven't seen that, again, nakalink naman din dito. The idea is that when it comes to um, an angle, kapag ito ay nakatayo, Okay, if meron kang ray na ganyan, or line minsan, tapos ito ay in-intersect ng isang line na diretsong diretsyo sa kanya, ibig sabihin directly perpendicular ang tawag, no? Ang form na angle na ito is going to be 90 degrees, okay? And minamark din siya by that symbol. So, meron kang uh, parang square nito, okay? So, ganyan. Kung ganyan ang itsura, ibig sabihin, yung part na yan ay 90 degrees. Okay. Now, dito na papasok yung role ng complementary angles. Kahit na walang drawing like this, kapag sinabi sa tanong na complementary angles sila, at yung isa ay 25, alam mo agad na kung ito ay 25 degrees, itong angle na ito, yung angle B, dapat yun yung kung ano yung kailangan ko idagdag sa 25 para lumabas yung 90 degrees. Okay, anong ibig sabihin nun? Kung inonotate ko siya, pwede kong ilagay na ang angle A plus yung angle B should be equal to 90 degrees. Bakit? Kasi nga, again, they are complementary angles. Okay, and because yung angle A ay given 25 degrees, diba? plus yung angle B ngayon magiging X is equal to 90 degrees. Ililipat natin itong 25 degrees sa kabilang side. 
no? So, kung isasolve ko siya, magiging x na lang ito, is equal to 90 degrees minus, kasi ito positive siya dito, no? So, kapag nilipat ko siya sa kabila, magiging negative siya. So, that would be minus 25 degrees. Kung naguluhan kayo doon, meron tayong full discussion na on yung mga basics ng equalities or finding x. Nakalink na lang din siya dito sa taas. Okay? So, x is equal to 90 degrees minus 25 degrees or x is equal to 65 degrees. Okay? Which means yung angle B is 65 degrees. Or, kung mabilisan at hindi naman kailangan ipakita ito, Ipamindus mo na lang yung 25 sa 90. Kasi alam nga natin, pag complementary, dapat 90 degrees. Now, ano naman yung supplementary angles? Ang supplementary angles ay na-form niya yung isang straight angle. Napag-usapan natin yung straight angle doon sa previous na video. Ang ibig sabihin lang nun, 180 degrees yung kabuuan nito. Okay? So, again, lahat-lahat yan, 180 degrees. Pero meron kang angle A, Tsaka angle B. Okay? Tapos, sabi sila ay supplementary. If you notice, this question is the same or similar dun sa nauna nating tanong sa complementary angles. etong word lang na supplementary ang naiba. Kanina kasi nakalagay complementary. Na ano na ang magiging solution natin dyan? Again, yung A pareho pa rin. 25 degrees. Pero dahil ang supplementary means na pag pinagsama mo yung dalawang angles, ay magiging 180 degrees. So, yung equation natin would be like this, no? Angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. Okay? Tapos, yung angle A natin is 25 degrees plus yung angle B which is missing, yun ang magiging x natin, equals 180 degrees. So, parang yung kanina lang, yung x is equal to 180 degrees tapos... Ililipat natin 25 sa kabilang side. Again, positive naman ito ngayon. Magiging minus siya dito. 25 degrees. X is equal to 155 degrees. Okay? So, again, ang mangyayari lang, ang difference, instead of 90, 180 ngayon yung kanilang sum. Ito na yung sagot natin. Yung angle B is equal to 155 degrees. Okay? Now, again, paano yun mas madaling tandaan? Kasi nga, magkatunog kahit pa paano, pareho silang mentary, no? Yung complementary, cho supplementary. Here's a trick to remember it better. Para mas madaling tandaan, lalo na kung visual kayong learners or uh, kung gusto ninyong nakikita or na-imagine yung mga bagay, here's a trick. To remember yung complementary, tandaan nyo, it starts with a C. Tapos, if you notice, yung 9, kakasya siya dito. Okay? So, kumbaga, 90 degrees. Okay? Kasi, again, ang complementary angles, ang sum nila ay 90 degrees. Yung supplementary naman, ang first letter niya ay S. Now, if you notice, yung S, pwede siyang maging 8. Okay? So, ito ay 180 degrees. Okay? Now, kung gusto mo rin isipin na yung isang C, you might looks like this, ay equal to 90 if you notice, yung S, dalawa niya. So, meron kang isa, meron ka pang isa. Bakit? Kasi, ang 90 degrees times 2 ay 180. So, again, mas maraming curve or mas maraming C yung laman ng S, kaya mas malaki siya. Okay? So, again, complementary, 90 degrees, supplementary, 180 degrees. Now, with that knowledge... Okay, armed with that knowledge na, okay, kapag straight yung angle, tapos hinati siyang ganyan, dapat 180 degrees. Kung right angle naman, magiging uh, 90 degrees. Okay, I want you to try to answer this quiz. Again, simple lang siya. With all the things that we discussed today, I want you to find kung ano yung mga missing angles natin. Okay, so if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now.
Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, so kung ito daw, sabi dito, angle 1 is 42 degrees, find the measurement of these angles. So, ibig sabihin, magsisimula tayo do sa angle 1, which is 42 degrees. Now, paano ko na ngayon hahanapin yung iba pa? Now, if you notice, itong angle na ito, 90 degrees siya. Kasi nga, again, with that symbol, we talked about that. Kapag nakaganyan, instead of arc, kasi normally kapag angle, ganito yung symbol. Okay? Ibig sabihin nyo, 90 degrees yan. Okay, now, kung straight ito, diba? Tapos meron tayong angle na itong angle 1, tapos 42 degrees siya. Ibig sabihin nun, kung ito ay straight, ito ay 180 degrees, right? At ibig sabihin nun, supplementary yung angle 1 at saka yung angle A natin. So, kung hahanapin ko yung angle A, all I have to do is to subtract yung 42 degrees from 180 degrees, which I'll do ngayon. So, again, 180 degrees minus 42 degrees, lalabas yung angle A. Now, pag ginawa ko yun, ibig sabihin ng angle A is equal to 138 degrees. Okay? So, yun na yung ating sagot dito. 138. And again, we know that kasi alam na natin yung relationship ng supplementary angles. Okay. Now, question na next. Paano naman yung B? Now, if you notice again, this line G right here, itong line na to na G, siya yung bumubuo. Bahagi na bumubuo dun sa angle A tsaka angle B. Ibig sabihin nun, to get naman yung angle B, now that alam na natin na yung angle A ay 138 degrees, Okay? All I have to do is to subtract yung 138 degrees from 180 degrees din. Okay? Bakit? Kasi again, yung angle naman na A tsaka B, supplementary din sila. Okay? So, kung kukunin ko yan, ang lalabas of course is 42 degrees. So, yung letter B naman or angle B is 42 degrees din. Okay? Now, paano ko naman kukunin yung C? Now, if you notice, ito, nakalagay dito, again, 90 degrees siya, right angle siya eh. At dahil itong line na H na ito is a straight line, straight angle din, ibig sabihin itong buong kabuoan nito, ibig sabihin nun, kung 90 yan, again, dapat 90 rin itong side na ito. Which means, na kung 90 degrees yung sum dapat ng angle B at angle C, pwede kong gawin na 90 degrees minus yung angle B, which is 42 degrees, lalabas yung angle C. So, kung susubtract ko ito, this is going to give us 48 degrees. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, yung letter B or yung angle B ay 42 degrees, tapos yung angle C naman ay 48 degrees. Ibig sabihin, kumpleto na natin lahat ng missing angles, all because we know yung isa sa kanila. Okay? So, that's the thing about finding angles pagdating sa geometry, at least itong uh, simple and two-dimensional na mga angles natin. And again, it gets a little bit complicated as we go along. Pero kayang-kaya nyo yan. And if you haven't seen yung ibang mga uh, discussions natin sa internal angles at saka sa iba pang mga um, related na mga angles, all of those ay nakalink din sa playlist na ito. Okay? Now, I hope you got all of these correctly. Medyo madali lang naman sila. But if you didn't, that's okay. Uh, we have more ch chances naman to get it, right? I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Like Amarevelio on Instagram. Doon sa quick quiz function natin, doon sa Instagram story, doon ko pinapost yung mga bagong mga challenge questions. And nagpapapol din tayo na mga susunod na mga topics. You can also follow at Team Laika sa Instagram. So doon naman sa Team Laika account yung mga throwback questions at saka iba pang mga updates sa mga events na paparating. And if you're on TikTok, you can also follow me at Team Laika on TikTok for the educational videos, yung mga math and English videos natin na maikli, 1 to 3 minutes. And of course, yung ating uh, at Laika Maravilla naman account where I post yung mga personal stuff, motivational videos, tips, advice, at uh, a peek na rin into what happens behind the scenes. Okay, so see you guys online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and ano kung mag-exam din sila. Dati mas marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or library and you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Again, marami pa tayong mga paparating na mga videos. Next time, we're going to talk about uh, mga alternate exterior angles, alternate interior angles. Ano yung big sabihin ng mga congruent na mga angles na ito? And if you don't want to miss that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon para malaman ninyo kapag ready na yung susunod na mga videos. We have more videos coming up. So um, again, 
I love to welcome you sa team na ito, whether you're a child member or just a child viewer, that's okay. Kasi again, our goal has always been to democratize education here in the Philippines. And thank you for being part of that journey. As you always see sa channel, don't never stop learning. Adja, adja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.